Let's talk about the episode. Let's talk about the episode. So, Drew, April, Moniz, this situation, this co-parenting thing, everything else under the sun. Let's talk about it. Let's discuss it. Um, April, Drew, I'm about tired of y'all and y'all relationship. Congratulations, y'all day in. Nobody cares. But unfortunately for y'all, y'all want us out of y'all business. But the way we see it, we don't care about y'all business. You want us out of y'all business, but we didn't ask to be in your business. You the one decided to make that your storyline, being in y'all business. So you can't have it both ways. Let's start there. As for the um y'all dating on the law or whatever, cool, I guess. If that would help y'all sleep good at night, I guess. Like, I think y'all been messing around. And I also think that y'all tried to act like and pretend like y'all wasn't dating this whole time this show was being filmed. I do believe y'all did more than talk, walk around half naked, laying in the bed and all that. You kind of told on yourself with the whole Vegas thing and y'all laying in the same bed. And people that have friends like that, some friends sleep in the same bed with each other, but they ain't going to be all on top of each other like y'all doing. Y'all been doing this for how long now? Now y'all want us to stay out of y'all business. Now y'all made this y'all storyline. Come on now, April and Drew. Y'all cannot have it both ways. You want us to stay out of your business. You don't want us worrying about what your vagina doing. Y'all want us out. But you kind of opened that door, you and Drew and Mona, and basically forced us through that door. We don't care enough about y'all, Drew and April, to care about y'all relationship. Really, we don't. Y'all think we care? Really, we don't care. Like, y'all really not that important to us. Drew just hearing come in April. We only know you cost of a Marion, so to be fair and honest, y'all want us to get out of y'all relationship. Frankly, my dear, we don't care enough about y'all relationship, and if y'all having sex and all, like, y'all are killing me. Like, the more and more this storyline go on, the more arrogant and the more cocky y'all get. Why are they so worried about what we doing? Why are they so worried about how we dating? Why are they so worried about what my pajama doing? Um, excuse you. You let us in your relationship. And we had a pick and choose, and we don't care enough. Y'all wouldn't be on this show at all with this little pretender like y'all ain't dating, but y'all really dating relationship. Because let's be honest and let's be real. Now, if it was Ray J and Princess, we might be interested. And this was Tierra Marie and one of her little men. She didn't pick up for the season. We might be interested. Interested. Y'all ain't uh, y'all ain't up enough into the status of love and hip hop Hollywood for us to care about y'all relationship. Mona got us caring about something we don't give a darn about. So y'all need to stop with the why everybody so worried about this. Why everybody so worried about this. If you was raising princess or lyric and A1 steak sauce, we might give a darn. We might. We might give y'all a thought. But if we can pick and choose what to be cut out this show and this season, I'm pretty sure everybody will say y'all got to go out to the second or third episode because don't nobody care. Really, don't nobody care. Y'all want us to care about y'all relationship and we really do not care. The only reason I ain't started fast forwarding y'all behind yet, which is I'm almost there to start fast forwarding y'all behind. I'm almost there because I'm noticing, I'm noticing by minute by minute, by scene by scene, by episode by episode, it seems like y'all don't care how y'all walking around here on eggshells, like y'all don't care at all. You want people out of y'all business, but y'all want to get paid for what y'all want to get paid for us being nosy and picking and prying at y'all relationship. So which one do y'all want? Do y'all want to get paid and us to be concerned about y'all little stinking behind relationship? Or do you not want us in your relationship and do you do not want to get paid? So which one is it?
because you can't have it both ways. You either going to get paid for us being interested in your whatever y'all got going on, or you don't want us in y'all relationship and you don't get paid. You're not on this season. So take your pick. Because y'all acting like we care that much enough to be all up in y'all business, worrying about what kind of penis you win, wearing wearing this Drew wearing tight boxers, no boxers, or no underwear, better yet, he walking around with no shirt. Y'all See, y'all want us to care, but y'all really don't want us to care to a certain extent. Y'all can't have it both ways. Y'all open this door to us. We didn't want the door to be open. If it was up to me, I'll slam both of y'all in the door and hope y'all keep y'all relationship closed to my eyes because I really don't care. Like, come on now. Y'all got to cut it out. And y'all got to y'all got to stop pretending like y'all up there in status and loving hip-hop and loving hip-hop Hollywood for us to give a darn about y'all relationship and what the hell y'all got going on. Like, really? We really don't care that much. And y'all, too, don't flatter yourself that much. Please stop flattering y'all self. Like every time I see that and every time y'all have this little arrogant, this little stink to y'all, acting like, oh, we want to know the details. We want to know what y'all eat for dinner. We want to know what y'all eat, how much money y'all sit on groceries or we Do y'all go shopping to the mall? Do y'all not go shopping to the mall? Do y'all go to the beaches? Like you act like y'all keep, y'all act like y'all act like y'all keeping up with the Kardashians or something. Y'all really ain't that special. Trust me. And if y'all get cut next season, we'll just say goodbye to y'all and that's it and that's all. Please stop acting like y'all Kim Kardashian in the family because y'all really not. Hell, y'all ain't even much Ray J status and y'all acting like somebody, Ooh, let me move the hell on before I say something I don't want to say and mess around and get mad. Now, moving on. To the main topic of discuss uh, discussion. This is gonna be um Moniz and Drew and they oil and water relationship up until the parenting and the child thing. Um Y'all disrespect each other. Y'all rude to each other. Moniz, you ain't got no manners. You disrespectful too. And much as I love you, you very disrespectful too. Like I said, there are certain stuff you should know and certain stuff you should not know. Drew never going to give you that respect because he don't think you to earn, it, earn, earn that respect, number one. Number two, y'all need to talk it out, fight it out, do whatever the hell y'all got to do to come together as one for y'all child. If y'all don't have that respect for each other, of course y'all gonna be disrespected. Well, Moni's gonna feel disrespected. Of course Moni's gonna feel some type of way. Of course Drew don't care if the new woman, the new sign piece or whatever he dating coming to sideways. You think he gonna care? No, he is not gonna care. And now I see why Drew did that um interview he did with um that um what's the girl name? Tiffany Pollard, her, her brunch, that podcast or whatever it is. I don't watch it, so I, I don't know if it's a podcast, a TV show, a web episode or whatever. Now I understand why he did what the hell he did with that interview because what you said at that interview with Jason Lee. I'm guessing yours came first, then he came back at you at the Tiffany brunch thingamajiggy. So I'm guessing yours came first and then his came second cause the way this storyline unraveling is you finding out, you reacting, you going to Jason Lee, saying the stuff you said. So that's why he said that disrespectful stuff to you. Talk about it wouldn't be you, I made you and all this and all that. That's where that came from. That's why you can't add Moniz. Another thing is Drew come to you now and kiss you, caress you, and all over, you'll be ready to have sex with that man anytime, any day he did that to you. Let's not pretend like whether he be small, medium, or large, or whatever. You weren't complaining about him when you had sex with him. You weren't complaining when you had that child from him. So please stop acting like that little member, as you call it, or a little Drew or whatever the hell you called it, wasn't pleasing you. 
is now displeasing you because you're upset, you're mad, you and your feelings. But let's not pretend once upon a time not long ago, you was April and uh, um you was April and many other other women in July running behind him wanting to wanting to take another ride on his little pony. So let's not pretend like you all this dad, you all dad. If he gave you another chance, you ain't going to run and jump on it. Let's not pretend now. Let's not pretend. And I hate when, I, I hate when women do that. Matter of fact, I hate when women do that. Matter. Oh, he was small. Oh, he wasn't enjoyable. Oh, he was one size. Oh, he was a one size candy bar. Mm -hmm. Was you complaining when you was getting that candy bar? You just now just that you just now just set up with the candy bar now. Now that you're not the one riding and then somebody else having fun with that little car. Oh, now you just satisfied or now you mad now because you're not riding on it anymore. You're not having fun with it anymore. Like don't complain about the man penis size when you with him. You weren't complaining then. You had a whole baby with him, and you was in a whole relationship with him. It's funny how all of a sudden now you got a problem with his penis size. You want to sit there and make fun and pick fun at it now. It wasn't none of that when you was having fun with it, but now it's all that and all this and all that now. Now that you ain't riding it, now that you feel disrespected, now that you not, now that you not getting the respect that you thought you deserved or the or the respect you think you should be getting, and he don't see you in that respect for manner, and y'all just need to fight it out, duke it out, do whatever the hell y'all need to do. That situation never gonna be calm. Y'all always gonna be at each other's throats. He don't respect you. You don't respect him, and you don't respect his women in his life, and whatever. And another thing, you say he ain't and he ain't, and he ain't gonna never be. You weren't complaining then when you was with him. Like, Moniz, you got a thousand complaints about that man. But like I said, if that man kiss you, cuddle you, and all that under the sun, you'll be all ready for that ain't man and be ready to play with him all over again. So cut it out, Moniz. Just cut it out. And as for that interview... I don't know why you went on the internet, on the air, whatever that was, bashing that man. That is the mother of your mother. That is the father of your child. Did you really think that interview was helpful to you? Did you think that interview resolved any of your issues that you got with Drew now? Did I did, did that interview make you feel good at least? Cause that's probably all you got out of got out of it. And Jason Lee apologizing to you about that sex type thing two seasons ago, two three seasons ago about the sex type and leaking that sex type. He did apologize to you for that, so I will get him that one. But did that interview make you feel good, um, Moniz? Did you get everything you wanted and more out of that out of out of that interview? I hope you feel better about yourself now. Now on the Lyrica and A1 steak sauce. Like I said, they're gonna be back together again. It's only a matter of time. What we got about four, five more episodes left. Cause the love and hip hop, um, New York come on in December. This is November, so I'm pretty sure we wrapping down to the end. Before the season finale, you gonna be back together with him. You already making plans to come back home. He already talked you into doing a trial run with him, leaving your stuff into storage. You didn't check the man phone. You found what you where well, you well. You was looking in that man's phone. You found some things you didn't want to see, but you ended up catching those things that he was doing behind your back. Um, you say it's good. He did a little play date trying to romance you or whatever. He willing to try to make this work, and you willing to try, I guess. You keep on inviting him to your events. You keep on talking about he's your manager and all this and all that. Before a matter of time, you're going to be right back with that man. I can see a right now, Lyrica. You're going to be right back with that man. That's why I don't waste too much time with you. I can tell now your head is spinning and your gears are turning. You'll be right, you'll be right back with that man. Now what I'm going to need for A1 Steak Sauce to do, 
why he about to get back together with you. What I'm need for him to do is, yeah, you cheated on her, she cheated on you. Now what I'm gonna need for you to do, A1 State South, is to stop blaming her saying, she cheated on me, I cheated on her, it was a tit for tat. Don't blame me for the cheating, and we were both cheating on each other. Okay, fine, y'all both cheated on each other. Lyra come out and did some things, but like I said, you're on a bigger platform than she was. At least you can do her cheating, and it wouldn't be so big as it is now. Now that y'all on a big platform and you still cheating on this woman, you basically embarrassing this woman, making a fool out of this woman, and it's not right. A1, if you're going to take Lyrica back, you're going to have to let go of the past. She gonna have to let go of the past, and y'all gonna have to do this on an even slate, or don't do it at all. Ain't no more. You cheated on me first, so I got to get you back now. Or he ended up cheating on you and said, "Oh, I'm getting you back for such and such and such a time, a long, 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 long time ago." So if y'all gonna do this all over again, y'all gonna have to cut out the cheating and start over from fresh, be brand new with the situation. Um, own up to y'all mans. I don't know that y'all cheating. Like, y'all gonna have to come clean with it all and unpack all that. I'm packing and agreeing not to do that mess anymore. And y'all should be good and golden. If y'all can't do that, don't get back together. Because there's always gonna be that back roll of y'all cheating and y'all always gonna bring it back as a clap back and all this and all that. Or I'm getting you back for when you tick me dead, now I'm tatting you back. If y'all can't do that and let bygones be bygones and start over fresh, brand new, like y'all just got married yesterday, don't waste your time. Really, don't waste your time. A1 still won't let it go. Cause when um cause when she it was somebody bring up the cheating. I think Lyrica Mama, yeah, Lyrica Mama bring up the cheat and he was she cheated on me too. She cheated on me too. I was just getting her back. So y'all both gotta let that cheating thing go. Like I said, if y'all can't just give it up and move on. That's all I'ma say. Y'all a pretty good looking family and y'all need to cut the foolishness foolishness out. If y'all can't do that, leave it alone. But anyways though, y'all, that was the episode. I'ma get the like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.